What is up, everyone? Welcome back to another video. All right, it's a jam-packed update today. iOS 18.1 release candidate alongside iPadOS 18.1, macOS 15.1, um, iPadOS and iOS 17.7.1, and all the other goodies, which are linked down in the description down below on updates and their build numbers, respectively, have been released today. We have... A 7.05 gigabyte update being installed on this 15 Pro Max. Um, the update will be a lot smaller when you're coming from 18.0.1 to 18.1. Um, there are some good bug fixes for the 16 Pro, including a random respringing bug that is occurring. So if you had this issue on the 16 Pro or 16 model devices... Um, this will be your fix coming out next week. It will be launching on 10, 8, uh, 28, 24. So I expect maybe an Apple event probably the same day, if not, um, the day after, if we get an announcement tomorrow, it is, uh, Monday, the 21st. And if we get an announcement tomorrow, then we'll have, a uh, updates in an Apple event, but this is just a 18.0. This is just a 18.1 update released candidate build. So everything that I did cover in 18.1 beta 7 is basically the same. Um, just finalized and ready to go for the public. Of course, I know y'all on iPhone 15 Pro models and iPhone 16 models can't wait for this. What can you do? You can say things like launch Amazon to search, send a message with Messenger, and is broccoli good for you? Is broccoli good for you? A cup of broccoli has about 52 calories, 202 milligrams of fat, 9.9 .9 grams of carbohydrates, and 5.7 grams of protein. Check my YouTube notifications. You have six from YouTube. 925 Mac. Eight accessories for your new M4 MacBook. And you have D-Tech. Why I say gift like that? And Sneed Mobile Tech. T-Mobile customers watch. This is getting expensive. And Flossie Carter. Basius Bowie 30 Max. Higher as noise. Canceling headphones. $70. Check Ecobee notifications. One from Ecobee. Significant drop in air quality detected. To improve your indoor air quality, open a window or turn on an air purifier. That's it. So, I want to say something about the air quality thing because I know I'm going to get them comments down below. But, I had windows open last week, so the air quality fluctuates in this house, especially with the changing of seasons. But I want to use that as an example. So now, the new Siri, and I haven't tested with the old one, can now check the notifications, which is very interesting. But, um... Let me know if you're installing the release candidate down below and stuff like that. There's not much. I'm going to save the long durational video until we get the actual um, update out next week. So you'll have that nice long video of me going through the list of what's new and stuff like that. And um, yeah, thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Release candidate day. Quickie update. Peace.